Steam and YouTube, I guess since I have people on both. How's it going? Been a couple days. Decided to take some time off and work on other stuff. And in that intermedium, I get to do this. I fucking told you! That's right, for all of you chain coin hodlin saxa shits out there who decided to spend hours and hours just attacking my personal everything and not bringing up any valid points, your lord and savior Max has told you to get rid of the buy walls and sell walls and crash that bitch down to a cent. <laughs> oh shit! And most of you fuckers are so deep in that thing you can't get out. Oh, it's almost like somebody told you not to fucking do it. And you did it anyway. <laughs> oh, Alright, that was my petty moment. I had to get it out of the way. So let's talk about this. Let's, let's analyze this logically. Let's go over this now. Because really, I'm not an asshole that much. To where I'm glad you guys lost your money. I, don't, I didn't want that. I was actually trying to get you not to lose your money. But you did it anyway, so how do we fix this? Okay, here's how you fix it. You realize that people on the internet probably aren't telling you the truth all the time. You believe Max because he had subscribers and other people said he was, you know, it was good. And then you had other YouTubers like Superman and Craig Grant and all these other guys who were jumping on the hype train to get in on it. And I'm sure they made their money. More than likely, they made their money. Max definitely probably has all his money still because all of his accounts were hacked during all those dumps of his money. Yeah. But I digress. Today, let's talk about something else. Let's talk about the investor's mind, right? Let's talk about that investment mindset that you really should have when doing this kind of thing. Um, and... The great things about crypto coins is that you're able to, you know, do your micro buys and buy percentages here and there and just put in money where you can. That isn't hype, folks. You know, I've, I've been over to the channel. You got people that are saying they're 10 grand deep, five grand deep, and they can't get out now. Some people that have, like dump their entire their entire portfolio of Bitcoin and Ethereum and all that other stuff while it was crashing to get into the chain coin hype, and they believed in the hodl. They believed in the hold. Um, without, you know, and, and most of the people that I'm sure that aren't the bots and the fake accounts that are talking shit to people and making people feel degraded and hated on because they didn't believe in the movement and using the movement as, as basically the spearhead for the bullshit lie that they were feeding you to get your money. Real investors know when shit doesn't smell right, you don't put your money in it. <laughs> if things like social media... I mean, a lot of a lot of the old timey investments from the stocks and forex, social media doesn't have that much of an impact back then. Nowadays, social media has such an impact on everything. You'll hear about governments crashing on Facebook before it even hits the fucking news. You know, you'll hear about depressionary you know situations that will cause you know the cost of a currency financially to to plummet which could cause the a coin to to take effect and stuff like that while more people try to take their standardized money and run it into crypto coins to try to save it as as they can um but the a lot of the the standard tactics for investment in the, in the investing mindset is and, and people say it, but I don't think people listen to it when they say it is, you know, only put in what you can invest. It's like gambling. It really is. You can't afford to fucking go gamble for 15 hours on a thousand dollars. Don't fucking do it. You know, if you can afford to lose ten thousand dollars, then you're doing better off than a lot of people. If you can't afford to lose a dollar, don't put in ten grand, you know, um, and, and that kind of stuff. But. What I want you guys to do, for all of you new getting into this and all those of you that like to come back to my, my channel, thank you by the way for the close to 2,000 views, um, is I want you to go back last six months of your bank account. Okay, get your statements, line them all up, it's gonna be a lot of, it's gonna be a lot of work, but you're gonna wanna do this. Go through and I want you to prioritize need and want, okay? Need and want, need is rent, car payment, insurance, health insurance, uh, 
you know, utilities, um, budgeted food. Budgeted food means not takeout, not fast food, not dinners with the girlfriends and the buddies. And we're going to put alcohol is not a need, folks. That's going into your wants. So those needs, you're going to tally those up, right? And you're going to tally up your wants. And you're going to realize after you tally up your wants how much you've actually spent over the last six months. Okay. And once you realize how much you've spent over the last six months in those wants, you can go and look up any one of those cryptocurrencies you want to look at. You know, you could even go back to your little chain coin when it was four cents and let's see, look, oh, I could have had $20,000 in chain coin. And then when it went up, made the two or three million like other people did and got the fuck out. But you're going to take your wants and you're going to, instead of, buying that large pizza at Domino's for eight bucks or that, you know, two large pizzas for 20 or whatever fucking deals that you, you kind of caught yourself doing a lot of. And when that happens, instead of buying that pizza, what I want you to do is find a solid coin on an exchange that doesn't have a high fucking fee, right? Because, you, you know, if you're paying 4% on a credit card or you're paying 8% here or whatever the, the dividends is, obviously your costs are going to go up because the differentials are going to be solid. But you can buy your, your portion of Bitcoin. You can buy your portion of Ethereum. You can buy your EOS coin. You can buy your IOTA coins. You can buy your Steam Definitely buy into your Steam. If you're not, if if you're on Steam and you don't have st Steam power, it's kind of a bite because you can pay yourself that way. You know, you get yourself in the habit of paying yourself first by paying. You know, making your posts, being consistent, which I'm not all the time because I'm doing a bunch of shit all the time. So, but I do make sure to upvote once on my stuff and leave it at that. Um, once and this will get you moving forward in in what in your passive assets. Now, passive assets are things that work, make money for you without you doing much other than purchasing them. All right, homes used to be considered a passive asset. Um, then you hit the bubble and all this other stuff. People lost their shit, but they're still you know if you're renting them out and you're a first time buyer and stuff like that. There's a lot of States will have a lot of first-time buyer deals where they'll cut you a lot of good tax breaks and stuff like that. So you can buy a like a quadplex, break it up, rent it out that way, put yourself in one of them, okay? Then everybody's paying your mortgage and you're paying your free rent and you're saving yourself money and then you're putting the rest into maintenance. These kind of things, these little, little simple things, these little changes that you can do to your life as far as your financials go will in the long term get you where you need to go. If you're not good at margin trading, if you don't have, you know, you can go learn about game theory at Coursera and stuff like that. Don't pay for it. It's not an accredited class. You just learn. But you can go get this information. You can go, you know, I talked about the Warren Buffett book so you can go, that he read, that you can go read. And the change of mindset. If you're jumping into cryptocurrencies and not learning anything, if you're not studying, if you're not watching people, but you are watching the hype, right? You're watching the hype people. You're watching the people that are constantly talking about how much gains they have and how they've done this. And they're always promoting something that, um, you know, gets them something. Like if you're, you know, you see it all the time with the Genesis mining. Like I'm not against Genesis mining. I, th I think it's, you know, for people that can't afford to do DIY, you know, mining and can't throw that in and you can just, you know, you can buy little bits of it at a time. But you're using, you know, a YouTuber's hash rate and stuff like that, which is getting them better hash rate, which is getting them more money, which, you know, with YouTube not really paying anybody anymore. Um, which is good. I, I mean, m money is what we're all in this for. If somebody is trying to sell you the pipe dream of solidarity, they're just selling you a way for them to make money off of you. All right. Everybody, you know, I think everybody eventually hits their one or two, I'm going to call it the chain coin scenario where they believed the hype and the, the jump up in volatile coins, but they didn't read what the white paper does and they didn't go investigate they didn't read it. They didn't, you know, Twitter, they didn't do Slack. They didn't, uh, you know, double check with older coders and stuff like that, that, you know, you can always get a hold of somebody. You ask a nerd a question, the nerd's going to tell you because it makes them feel superior. Just go fucking be like, hey, 
what does this mean? Can you explain this to me? And they're going to tell you, you know, they're going to fucking go, well, this doesn't mean this, this is this, this is how this would work and stuff like that. If you want to go learn this shit yourself, do it. There's a bunch of courses you can go fucking learn this shit. If you want to learn how to, you know, long-term investing really is throwing your money at something that has long-term value and ignoring the shit out of it, okay? You know, there's people that are collectors that have bought toys from when they were, you know, they have toys still from them when they're six or seven years old that are worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. You got comic books, right? I'm a, I'm a big comic book collector. I've been collecting most of my life. I have issues that are worth thousands upon thousands of dollars. Now, they have sentimental value to me, so I'm not getting rid of them, but they're there, right? I have magic cards that are worth thousands and thousands of dollars because I've held on to them forever. And as things change that's going to go. Now, if you if you're a balls of the wall kind of margin trader, day trader, you know, I'm not at all talking crap about you guys. You guys are amazing. I I I don't think I can handle the stress that you guys do. But, you know, if you want if you have the mindset for that stuff and you want to learn how to you know, if you want to learn to do that stuff and whatever, do it on the smaller markets, right? Don't do it on the big markets. Go find a little tiny market where you're only throw it, you know, what basically the penny stocks. You're throwing two or three, you know, points of a penny at a at a crypto coin and and seeing the margin trades there and trying to do that stuff that way you're not putting in 10 grand that you could possibly lose in a day um over such simple things as you got played um and the and that kind of aspect so you know more food for thought and now a lot of people have asked me and i'm gonna end it this way a lot of people ask me why i left all the comments on my youtube why i let people talk shit and other people like you know, high in coins takes off the people that talk shit. Uh, Mike, Avi LSD takes people, you know, that talk shit and stuff like that. I left it on there because I wanted people to see, matter of factly, the mentality that I was talking about. And the mentality that I was talking about showed itself. So I left those in there and I did, you know, bite a little bit on the trolls and, and fell for some of the stuff. Um, but I, like I said before, I agree with learning something on both sides. Even if you don't agree with it, listen to somebody else's side. Um, now, those guys, most of them didn't bring any technical stuff. They didn't bring any you know, financial stuff to it. They just brought bullshit. Uh, and in doing that, you know, you kind of see – basically, you can see how people think and operate and, and stuff. And they were able to show what I was talking about and prove me right. Um, and, of course, this is long-term coin falling and failing and sucking is proving me right, too. But, again, keep keep that in mind. Keep that open communication with people of a different opinion from you because you are still going to learn one way or learn something. You might There might be a technical tidbit you didn't know about that they knew about. There could be um, a various argument and stuff like that. So, yeah, that's why that's all up there. Hopefully I'll get another one of these tomorrow. Um, my schedule is finally starting to lighten up as other projects are, are coming to a close and uh i'll catch you guys next time